Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three cool text effects in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Want to have some fun with your text? The three text effects that I'm going to show you today are not actually features in Doodly, but they will give your videos a professional touch and help make them stand out from the rest. Now, since they are not actual features, we're gonna have to kind of create them in our own way. And it's really not difficult. So just bear with me, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. First up, we have the block text effect, which is this one that you're looking at here. This effect adds a background color to your text, and it's kind of similar to the subtitle text that is built into Doodly. So let's just look, I have a subtitle in here and I made it big. It's white text on a black background. So that's your subtitle effect. And it's not really terribly practical to use that for you know a title or what have you. So we're gonna recreate it and do it in our own way. And we want it on the canvas. We don't want it as an overlay. What I like to do is to create these background images in a third party tool such as Pix or Photoshop or what have you. I'm going to use Pix. It's part of the Voomly cloud family. So I'm just going to go up to my little Voomly icon and launch it. So I'm in Pix. I'm going to click new and I'm going to choose custom image. I'm going to choose 1920 by 1080, which is our default canvas size in Doodly. And then I'm going to go to the text tool. This is going to just be a placeholder. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in whatever it is I wanna type. So I'm gonna say, and then I want it really large. And I'm gonna use the same font that I plan on using in Doodly. So I like Acme, so that's the one I'm gonna choose. So let's see, Acme. And the reason I do this as a little placeholder is it lets me choose the right size for my boxes. And I can play around a little bit with the layout. See, I think what I want is don't wait on one line and then create on the other line. So bear with me. So now that I have my placeholder in place, I'm gonna go to the shape tool and I'm gonna make sure I'm in the square. And for fill color, I just click on this little swatch. I like that bright yellow part. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose it. Click apply. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put my Little rectangle on top of that. Over here in the layers tab, I'm going to put it on the bottom. And then now I can fine tune it a little bit. I mainly want to make sure I have the size right. Okay. Now I'm going to copy and paste that. So control or command C to copy, control or command V to paste. Go back to my move tool and I'm going to place it on top of here and I'm gonna resize it only using this um, right hand handle. That way the height of the box is the same, okay? Because that, I want it to be the same. Now I want a different color, so I'm gonna go back to my shape. I'm gonna choose black for this one. I'm gonna change my text color so I can see it. Remember, this is just a placeholder. We're gonna actually do the text in doodly, but I just want to make sure it fits properly and it looks just fine. So that's great. So I can go ahead and either delete that or just hide it. I'll just hide it for now. Okay, now that we're happy with this, we can crop it so our boxes of transparency aren't quite as unwieldy. Apply. And then I want to export my rectangles one at a time. So I need to turn off one of them. So here's this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to export and we're gonna call it yellow box. So now I'm going to hide that one and then unhide the black one and export it. And I'm just gonna call this one black box. You can name them whatever makes the most sense for you, okay? Go back into Doodly and go to props and we're going to import them. Hit the little blue and white plus sign and then you're just going to drag and drop them into the dialogue. Okay, so let's bring them into our scene here. 
If I select them together, I can resize them together, which again, you want to have the height the same, okay? So that's why I like to resize them together. So we'll start here. Let's grab this text. Let's bring it to the front. Let's change the color. You can either do yellow or white. Let's start with yellow and see how that looks. And then let's type it in. Mm -hmm. I'm just copying and pasting just so it's the same font size. I need to change the color though. And you do that, you just select it, hit the little palette, and choose your color. I think I had punctuation in the other one, so I'll just go ahead and add that. Now I'm going to select these two together, so now I can move them independently however I want. Okay, so we have control there. And then let's take our rectangles, click the pencil icon, choose fade. Save and return. Do the same with this one. Fade, save and return. And then we'll make it a nice, really fast fade. And then let's put our text in the right spot. And I need to turn off my subtitle. And let's just see how that's looking. So I think you get the idea on that one. Let's move on to Drop Shadow. This one's super, super easy, guys. You just type in your text, and then you're gonna copy and paste, so. So now I have two, okay. You're gonna take the bottom one, click the gear icon, change the color. I like this light gray. And then opacity, you could also turn it down. Let's try 50%, hit apply. So now we have a lighter version of it. And then we just place our text on top of it, like so. We now have a drop shadow. Now you probably want to turn off the drawing of the actual shadow and then just have the hand draw in the top part. So let's see how that looks. And if you don't want the hand drawing at all, you can certainly turn that off as well. And then finally, fade out. So maybe you have the end and you just want the words to fade out at the end, right? Well, let's go back to Pix. And then we go back to our shape tool and we want the little square. This time for our color, we want white because we're gonna simulate the whiteboard, right? And then let's turn the stroke color off and let's just make a giant white rectangle. Let's fill the screen with white and that's perfect. So now we go to export and we'll just call it white box. Go back to doodly, props, blue and white plus sign. And let's just bring in our white box. And you notice how when you cover it, it makes it disappear, right? So that's all we're doing is we're making it disappear by covering it up. And then we go to our pencil icon and instead of draw, we're gonna choose fade, save and return. Let's give this a little bit of a delay here. So we'll say at four and a half seconds, I want it to fade out. So we're gonna see this draw on and we're gonna look at it for four and a half seconds and then it's gonna fade out, okay? That's all we're gonna do. So a quick preview, so fade out. So we have four seconds here for whatever else we're talking about. Oops, okay, that's the effect here. Go to scene settings, that's your smart mode, erase mode. I always turn that off, I didn't do it in this one. So, so now try again, so preview. So here comes the words and then four seconds of whatever. And this time he's not going to erase it. It's just going to slowly fade out like that. And there you have it. Three different text effects that you can create in Doodly. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.